We just received new national poll numbers and these numbers are indeed very shocking. At the same time, Kamala Harris sees historic surge in popularity according to this new poll and they just came out today, while at the same time, shutdown looms after House rejects GOP's spending bill. Well, things are changing very quickly right now and we have so much to tell you in this video because these things directly related to your financial well-being and of course, when it comes to the upcoming election, things are not looking right because Donald J. Trump also made a statement that shocked everyone. We are going to give you each and every detail about these massive developments in this video but before i get into the details i would like to ask you for a little favor to please smash the like button on this video as it helps this video and the channel as well remember that if you are thinking the economy is bad then you need to see this as according to a new report number of migrants at u.s border hits new record high yes this is indeed a huge problem right now because according to a number of experts and analysts they're saying the reason the economy is going down is because of these illegal immigrants because they're coming to us and they're taking the jobs of americans yes and one more thing that donald j trump is also saying that these migrants are allowed to enter us because they're going to vote in the upcoming election and they're going to vote for kamala harris well what do you think about this whole situation let us know in the comments below because these are very serious allegations and at the same time these statements shocked everyone but if you remember after the recent debate things changed completely for democratic party according to a number of experts and analysts that kamala harris won that debate because she changed donald j trump's strategy for a debate and the reason we are saying this because donald j trump is always known to go aggressive on his opponent while in that debate he was all about defending himself well this is according to a number of reports and the expert analysis of some media groups but we all know that the media is somewhat crooked and yes we cannot believe whatever they say but one more thing that we would like to tell you right here this is very important the inflation is up and there is no doubt about it and the experts are also saying that these numbers are not true you know what's the new number of this inflation right now is 2.5 percent at the other hand, according to a new report, the prices of grocery are up by 21%. You heard it absolutely right. The prices of grocery are up by 21% and no one is talking about it. So let's not wait and get into the details and see what do we have right here for you because these updates are very important. First, we'll start with the new national polls that just came out. So the biggest question is that who's ahead in the national polls? Harris has a plus 2.9 point lead over trump in an average of national polls as you can see right here that trump is at 45.5 percent while harris is at 48.4 percent but we have some detailed number as well and you need to look at this because this is very important well the red marks for trump and the blue marks for harris as you can see that when it comes to the age groups americans between the age of 45 and 64 49 percent supports trump while 47 percent supports Harris while when it comes to the age group of 30 to 44 45 percent supports Trump and 49 percent support Harris and then we're gonna go towards seniors who are already struggling because they're not doing anything for social security beneficiaries but let's talk about it well 65 and older 51 percent are supporting Donald J. Trump and 44% are supporting Kamala Harris. When it comes to the females, 42% are supporting Donald J. Trump and 54% are supporting Kamala Harris. Hispanic, 39% are supporting Donald J. Trump and 51% supporting Harris. While when it comes to the male, yes, they are the dominant figure right here for Donald J. Trump as 54% males are supporting Donald J. Trump and only 40% are supporting Harris right here. When it comes to the youngsters, well, 18 to 29 age group, 37% supports Donald J. Trump, while 58% are supporting Kamala Harris. When it comes to the white college students, 36% are supporting Donald J. Trump and 61% supporting Kamala Harris. 
and then white non-college people they are 66 percent trump and 30 percent harris and when it comes to the black community 15 percent are supporting donald j trump and 79 yes you heard it right 79 percent are supporting Kamala Harris. Let us know in the comments below if you think that these numbers are true or you think that these polls are just a hoax, they are not true and the real numbers will come after the election because this is all controlled by the current administration. Well, remember that your view is really important, so make sure you share your views in the comment section. Now, let's go towards the very important detail that we want to give you right here is the government shutdown yes there is a very important update about it as you can see that shutdown looms after house rejects gop spending bill while senate majority leader chuck schumer took a swipe at his republican colleague for wasting precious time after his gop counterpart unveiled a plan to avoid a government shutdown while the bipartisan plan was announced by house speaker mike johnson earlier on sunday the tentative agreement maintains government funding until december the 20th with the house likely to vote on the bill as early as Wednesday, the agreement which still needs to be voted on in order to be implemented comes after weeks of uncertainty about whether a government shutdown could be avoided before the current fiscal year ends on September the 30th. The hypothetical government shutdown would begin on October the 1st. Well, remember that things are not looking right in the Senate as well and these things will have a massive impact in the upcoming election. What do you think about this whole situation? But before we wrap up this video, we would like to give you this update as well because this is very important and this is about your safety as United States ask all citizens to depart Lebanon while flights still available amid fears of escalation. The U.S. has updated its travel advisory to level 4 which urges all citizens to depart Lebanon on commercial flights while they are still available according to the U.S. Embassy on Saturday night. The warning comes amid the unpredictable nature of ongoing conflict between Hezbollah and Israel and the recent IAF strikes in Beirut. Well, things are changing rapidly when it comes to the global picture we'll keep you updated with each and everything if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon that's how you will be able to get our notifications because remember that we upload videos every single day for you which allows you to stay updated with all the global events current events u.s politics financial products social security ssi ssdi food stem all state and federal benefits as well so if you are interested in it all you need to do is to become a part of credit viral channel by subscribing to the channel right now if you have any questions at all then please let us know in the comments below and we will be happy to answer each and every question of yours thank you so much for all of your love and support we will see you in the next video very very soon till then please take care and have a nice day